and welcome to today's video. Today I'm sharing with you guys what is in my husband and I's stockings. I always do stocking stuffers of the kids, so if you want to go see that, go check that out. I think I posted that yesterday. But I always like to do ours too because I know not everybody does gifts for their spouses or each other, but I always like to do stockings. I always like to include us as well. Um, stockings are one of my favorite things. And so, of course, I'm going to make sure that my husband and I treat ourselves as well because it's important to treat yourself. Okay, so like the kids, I made stockings for everybody last year and they are huge and oversized. So although my husband and I don't put as much stuff in our stockings as I put in the kids, um, we still have, this is my daughter's and my son's stockings, for example. But the stockings I made are giant. I talked about them a little bit more in the last video. But yeah, I made giant, huge, oversized stockings because that's what I do. In the toe of each stocking goes an orange. Not this orange because I'm going to eat this. Um, but it's a tradition in our family to always put an orange. I am missing a couple of things, especially for my husband's stocking. Um, but they are just not here yet and I need to do this video. So whatever. Let's do my husband first. Stockings are difficult. My husband is not into typical dude bro stuff. So he's also very simplistic and doesn't like stuff. Neither of us like a lot of stuff. Um, so we're very particular with what we put in there. So um, let's talk about what's not here yet. I need to buy Pringles. It's something I put in the stockings every single year. I haven't gone pick up Pringles yet. So there'll be a can of Pringles in his stocking and maybe like one or two other little food bits, but specifically something that is arriving that is not here yet. Um, my husband is obsessed with Dr. Squatch. I will link the website down below in the description. Um, it is an all natural soap company for men, but I really love their soaps too. They're really, really, really nice, like moisturizing soaps. I like them for shaving and all sorts of stuff. So, um, this is not the soap, this is one of his soaps he already has, but I just wanted to pull one out to show you guys. He has a huge collection. I don't know, somebody at work started using them and now like him and his boss and his colleagues, they all are obsessed with freaking Dr. Squatch soap and they collect them. So my husband has, actually his order, first order just came in and he has it at work right now. Um, it came in today while I'm filming this. So he, there's like shampoos he got and two specialty Christmas soaps. Um, and then he has ordered one for my daughter and myself as well. So those just are coming in soon. There's a Black Friday sale. He couldn't resist. Um, but they're really, really nice. Like some of them have different grits and they're natural and like cold press sustainably sourced soaps. And they smell really good. And so we're putting a few of these in his stocking. And that's his kind of like self-care body products. He doesn't use a lot of like products in his routine. He's just like a pretty chill guy. So, um, but I always like to put some body products in. So I got him that and then a new deodorant old spice that he likes. And then we are big, big bath people and we are big Lush people. So Lush has new bath bombs and I'm pretty sure, excuse me if I'm wrong. I might have been wrong in the last one too, but um, they're doing a... Um, like they're doing an anime bath bomb thing and I'm pretty sure it's one piece. Um, and so my son got one because my son and my husband are both super into anime. And so my husband's got this purple one. It smells so nice, it smells like grapes. So that's gonna go into his stocking as well as a bunch of soaps. And then for my husband, I try and just, mostly I fill up his stocking with like candy and food things and then just little bits of hobby stuff so everybody gets a toothbrush in their stocking in this house so he's got a pack of his toothbrushes i will link those down below i buy them every year they're biodegradable um compostable and they're really great toothbrushes for his candy that i've got so far i'll probably pick up like one or two more things he's a big candy guy he's not so much a chocolate guy he's a big candy guy sour patch kids Pack of Twizzlers, package of Nerds, and a classic book pack of life Lifesavers. Do you guys remember these? We grew up getting these. Um, and then a Kinder Surprise chocolate. This is his favorite kind of chocolate. Um, he got the little gingerbread man. And 
Then I'm gonna put chips in there and anything else that I, you know, feel like picking up. I might put like a he an energy drink in there or something. Once in a blue moon, he'll drink an energy drink, so maybe that's special. And then besides that, um, we just do some hobby bits because he has very expensive hobbies. So he is a miniature painter. He plays Warhammer. He plays D and D. Um, but he also is a very, 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 very talented artist in painting miniatures. And um, he enters and wins competitions all the time. So he's, we've got some paints. So um, got this shade. These are from GW, the Citadel color brand. Um, this one is just a base iron. He's not painting anything right now, so he doesn't need any of them. So I got him one of these. And then also, these are an acrylic paint that was recommended to him, but he's never tried these paints before. So he's got three of these to try. They're gray, black, and white, just classic ones for him to try something new, um, fiddle around with a different brand. He does a lot of like airbrushing and all sorts of things. And then um, I, we, I picked him up some really nice paintbrushes. Just, he's always going through a ton of paintbrushes. So four different sizes in one of his favorite paintbrushes. These are from Michaels and they are Velvet Touch Precision. So I got him four of these. And that is all I have in the stocking right now. It seems like just like no stuff. Oh, that's the other thing. I haven't gotten it yet. There, I put a mug in every single stocking. That's why it looks so naked. So he's missing his Dr. Squatch order and he's missing his Pringles and the other any other little snack bits I just pick up. Um, but he's missing his cup because he really, he doesn't drink hot liquids. Totally my husband's a weirdo. I love him so much. Um, <laughs> he doesn't drink anything hot. So getting him a mug isn't really like practical. So I usually go for like, sometimes I'll get him a mug, but I can't get him a mug every year because he just doesn't use enough of them. So what he really wanted, he's he drinks like cold drinks. He drinks pops and he drinks, you know, like he like chocolate milk, whatever. Um, so what I wanted to get him and what he's been after is a really huge like goblety kind of beer stein without the lid. Um, I am going to buy him one. I was out shopping and trying to find him one. I've got two more places that I'm gonna look and if I can't find them, I know where I'm gonna order one. Uh, but I just haven't found one yet. I thought I would have better luck finding one. But I want he wants something really, really huge because he loves to um, just fill up a big old cup and then go down and be in his office and his creative space and his gaming space and you know have a have a big old goblet of something to drink so that is going to go in his talking as well I just wanted to get this video guy out to you guys okay and then let's move on to mine obviously there's more stuff for me to put in mine because I have accessories and things like I do other stuff like my husband doesn't I can't get him a pair of fuzzy socks because he doesn't really wear socks in the house. You know, he's a, he's a struggle. So I try and stick to hobby things and food with him and manscapey bits and he's happy with that. So, okay, in my stocking every single year I get a new planner. So I've got myself one of these. This is actually, so I use Clementine planners. They're my favorite planner. I've been using them for years and years. I actually buy them at HomeSense because they are so much cheaper. Um, they're like $25 to $30 through the website, but I get them for like $12 or less. Um, this is actually a 2022-2023 calendar or planner. So they did not have the new ones out yet, and I needed to finish my Christmas shopping because I am nine months pregnant and we need to like be done um shopping. And I couldn't wait for the new planners to come out. So this one goes until June of next year. So what I'm going to do is, and it was actually on clearance because they're pulling out the other one. So I actually got this for $5, which is amazing. Um, and so I'm just going to use this one. I'll skip the months I don't need because my planner goes until January. Um, and then, but I use my planners every single day. I plan my whole life out in them. I love them. <laughs> Um, I really, really like how these ones are laid out. I'll show you really quick. Ugh. So they have like the calendar and then they have like your paper to plan things on. I just where I plan all my videos and stuff. And then nice big squares to write in and do all the days. There's um, notes in here. There's dot grids. There's contact sections. 
lots of important dates, blah, 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 in the front and in the back. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this until June. And when the new ones go, I'll just wait till they go on clearance and I'll buy another, I'll buy like the 2023 one that goes until December. And then I'll buy that one and use that for half the year. And then next year I'll buy like one that does the whole year. Does that make sense? So I bought this one for now. I like the print. Very cute. Got myself a new planner. Okay. Sorry if I seem like hiccupy. I've got heartburn today. Um, <laughs> the, another thing kind of in the same category as I needed a new notepad. I, again, I'm a list girl. I'm a physical planner girl. I like to write things down. Um, so I got this really cute daily list notepad. It's magnetic. This was $3.99 at HomeSense and it's got little mushrooms and like foresty things all around it. Super cute. Um, I'm always needing new notepads and I needed a new one. So I got myself one of those. I got myself a new wet brush as well. I say as well, because if you watch my kids one, you know I got my daughter one. Uh, but this is the one I chose for myself. I needed a new one because all of the little like parts that protect your protect you from the pokies are starting to fall off. Um, yeah, it's time for mama to treat herself. And I try and do a mix in our stockings of like personal care, practical items, and little treaty bits. So something else that my husband actually grabbed for my stocking, he saw these at, um, where was it? Hot Topic, and they're so cute. I'm very like cozy cottage core. If you know me, then you know these are perfect for me. So he got me this set of earrings. I try and keep stocking things like under $10. I think these were 12. Um, I'm gonna try, excuse me, you guys, I'm very pregnant. Um, they're jam jars. Look how cute, there's cuffs, earring cuffs with them. They're jam jars and earrings. So like there's, or like cuff earrings and then there's, so there's two sets. There's all the jam jars are like one set of earrings and then the ones above it, like the strawberries and the whales are another. Those are so cute. I thought they were adorable and I'm absolutely gonna wear them. I love earrings. I'm very Miss Frizzle with my earrings, like very out there. Um, I like funky things like that. So those are super cute. And yes, I know everything's going in my stuff, everything that I'm getting because that's how we do it. Something I've been <laughs> in desperate need for is a new electric milk frother. And I'm kicking myself because I went to Ikea and I found one for $6. And I had already ordered this on Amazon because I couldn't find one anywhere for 16 Ugh. So I got myself a new electric milk frother and I still bought the Ikea one just in case for what, if this one, you know, cracked the bed. My other one broke a couple months ago and I haven't replaced it yet. So I'm like, well, I've already waited this long. So I'll just put this in my stocking. Um, I can link this. I got it on Amazon. I love my, I love my milk frother for my coffee. I, I drink pretty, like, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty... I'm like a decent coffee snob <laughs> for my home coffees. Um, so I got myself a new frother. Something else I got are these kind of like, they're like mock wool socks. They say winter days on them. They've got grippies, super cozy. I love these. These are from Livy and Rose. Um, I actually bought these ages ago. They were having an amazing sale in the summer or the fall. Anyway, online they always have really great deals. I think I got these for like a dollar. So I got my daughter and I, some socks for our Christmas pajamas, but then I also got this extra pair for my stocking because I'm getting ready for like postpartum and I wanna be super cozy this winter after I've had baby and just like, just treat myself and treat my feet. Okay, everybody gets a bath bomb and this is my favorite bath bomb. This is just very, they've had this forever. This is called Twilight. It is my favorite scent. It's my favorite bath bomb. This smells like Christmas to me because I get one every single Christmas. It's like a bedtime bath bomb. If they ever discontinue it, I might actually cry. So I got myself that. Um, I always put a new mug for myself in my stocking and so I got myself this one. It looks like a big teacup. This is from the English Mug Co. Um, but it's very cute. It has, it's purple with hummingbirds and I just like the size. It's like a nice big mug, but it's a little bit more unique. I don't have one like this. So I'm a huge mug collector. I collect mugs. If you know me, then you know I buy new ones now and then. <laughs> um, okay, for practicality things, I bought myself a new deodorant and then I have toothbrushes as well for myself. 
I also, I say also because some of my, some things I got for my daughter and myself that are the same, um, got a thing of little hair, clear hair elastics. I think these are from Walmart. They come in this little mesh bag, which is super handy. I use a lot of these, but my hair is super thick and curly, so I pretty, I have to like break them to get them out so they don't tangle my hair. Um, but I needed some of these, so I got myself a pouch as well. Um, I got myself a new nail polish. I really, really love Essie nail polish. It's my favorite. I don't paint my fingers, but I paint my toes all the time. Um, this one is Natural Connection. It's kind of like a sage green. I really like it. I'm liking green these days. Like I'm, I'm, it's not my favorite color, but I'm, I'm liking green more and more. Um, I got myself a new mascara. I try out new mascaras all the time. I'm going back to a classic because... The natural ones are always crap. I've tried every single one. Don't like it. I've been using like the L'Oreal Paris one, but I'm gonna try, gonna try the Maybelline Great Lash again because somebody I know was like, this is just buy this one. So got myself a new mascara. <laughs> I restock my makeup like once a year. Um, you know, like the four products I use. I got myself some Ferreros. Ferrero Roachers. No, I'm joking. That was, that was, a mispronunciation joke. Um, I like these, so I got myself a little pack of those. Terry's Chocolate Orange Classic. My husband doesn't have one of these. If you notice, like, you know, this is a tradition for us to put a Terry's Chocolate Orange in every every single stocking. My husband doesn't like them. I don't know what's wrong with him. Don't know. Um, and then, again, I don't like candy, but I like chocolate. So my husband is candy and my stocking is chocolate. Um, but I like fancy Christmas chocolate and he doesn't care about Christmas chocolate. Where I like, I'm like, I want holiday chocolate. I got myself this mini box of lint chocolates. So it's got just a couple of different ones, but it's like, I love boxes of chocolates and they fit perfectly in our stockings. So again, um, my husband has ordered me a soap as well that will be coming and I will need my own can of Pringles as well. But that is everything that I'm putting in our stockings, minus the stuff that hasn't come. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was maybe inspiration if you are struggling for what to put in your own stocking or you are stuffing a stocking for maybe another adult. Um, these are my favorite things to do. If I needed more self-care products, I would put in face wash, um, a mask, maybe a hair mask or something like that. Because I'm going to be freshly postpartum, I try and keep my like skin stuff as neutral as possible in the early days with a newborn baby. So I didn't want to put too much in my own. Plus I had already kind of stocked up for myself. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this and I'm excited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. It's my dog sneezing and coughing. You have a hairball? You okay? Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in my next one. Bye guys.